Welcome back and thanks for joining us. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified of each new video. In the last video, we attached the third layer. We secured the plywood down to the XPS foam board and filled in the holes with wood filler and the gaps along the walls with expanding foam. In this video, we glue down the vinyl. Hopefully you can learn from the mistakes we made along the way. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's video, we're going to be installing the vinyl. Our floor series has four videos. If you haven't seen them, please make sure you tune into the first video so you could finish the floors with us. So let's get to work. Hey guys, this is Dory and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to help you discover the most beautiful spots and to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So subscribe and welcome to our channel. In this fourth and final video of our floor series, we're gluing down the sheet vinyl. We're using Robert's 6300 vinyl adhesive. Although we purchased a gallon, we used a little more than half. We ended up using too much and estimate most people will only need half of that, which is two quarts or two liters. We use putty knives to spread the glue and a rolling pin to distribute the glue and smooth out the bubbles. We then added a bead of GE silicone to around the perimeter of the vinyl. We purchased stair nosing that was one and five eighths of an inch by 12 feet. There was still a little bit of the floor showing underneath, so we added garage door seal under that. This seal also helps to keep water from seeping under the floor. Construction adhesive helps to keep it in place. We then used a drill and three quarter inch stainless steel Robertson screws to secure the stair nosing to the floor and added another bead of silicone under the seal to help keep the water away from the underside of the floors. We opted for sheet vinyl so there were minimal seams in our floors. We bought it in a roll of 12 feet by 14 feet and cut it down to six feet by 14 feet. We also used a utility knife to trim the vinyl away. So this is our floor, our vinyl. So we went with a darker color because light colors and camping don't go good together. And if you guys recall, we did cut it using the pattern we created from the floor. Right now we're just trying to place it yeah, so. so it fits right. So if you could see how much there is over here, right? It's like two inches. Yeah. got to be equal. And here there's like nothing. So. So we got to move it up. We're trying to make, you know, fit nice before we start with the glue. And my best advice for this is cut big and then keep making smaller cuts, right? Until you're happy and always leave about an inch and a half to two inches just in case you're never going to be able to fit it one shot so uh yeah small cuts like you see here on the wheel well right we've just made a bunch of small cuts we want to make sure it's going to be flush right we're gonna no creases, we don't want any creases, anything like that. So to use that glue, it needs to be 15 Celsius or warmer. We're gonna start over here and we're gonna work our way there. Here it goes, Nada. La salsa pizza. How do you keep on going when everything you know is falling? How do you keep on rolling, rolling with the punches Without something to believe in Oh, I don't know, but I know it's worth the waiting oh. Vinyl is glued on But let me tell you, this was a nightmare Sort of 
first, I mean, we saw a bunch of videos, but no one really tells you how much glue you have to put. So on this section, the main area, which was our first mistake, we did put a lot of glue, but we should have started in the back. In the back is where the bathroom will be. So if there's mistakes, it's fine because the bathroom's gonna be here, so it's gonna hide. However, the back ended up being the nicest part, the nicest one, because it was the second half that we installed. We corrected by putting less glue and uh, yeah, it did do a better job. In the front, we tried to fix our mistake, so we lifted again after gluing it. And I think that ended up making it worse. I'm not sure. We wanted to lift it up, remove some of the glue, then put it back, but that didn't really work out. As a result, it introduced air bubbles. And then we had to work it out with the uh, squeegee over here and the roller. So we did remove the big ones, but again, it was a lot of work. We saw a lot of videos online and no one really tells you how much glue you have to put. Guys, if you're doing your vinyl floors, you don't need to go crazy on glue like we did. Uh, and just a little bit so it could stick because with all the furniture, I mean, it's not going to go anywhere anyway. And it's going to be easier when you're going to be doing your roller. So I hope you learn from us because that's why we're doing these videos, right? We're getting information from online and we're sharing it back with what work and what did not work for us. So again, if I had to redo this, start with the part that, you know, you don't care if you do mistakes. For us, is the back. So at least if you've never done it, you're gonna have some sort of experience where when you're gonna tackle your main area, it will be a little bit better. The other thing is we did cut, like I mentioned, we left about an inch and a half from the sides. So on this section over here, we trimmed it after gluing. And that is, I mean, it worked, but it's a messy job because then you get glue on your scissors, you get glue everywhere. Uh, so my recommendation is if you're gonna do if you're gonna trim your sides, don't put too much glue on the borders, just put the glue on the main areas. And then once it's glued on and rolled, tackle your sides. And if they need glue, you could do a little touch up here and there. We have one left thing to do, but it's not gonna be today because this thing needs to dry up. And the final thing is going to be to put some sort of silicone around the edges. So around the edges right and the silicone honestly is just to finish to close up all the gaps in case if there's water leaks and we only used half of this yeah and we only used half of this uh glue hey good morning guys today february 20 it's about 9 30 and we're on our way to the shop we actually stopped at rona depot hardware store to buy some materials so we could complete the floors. Uh, we took about two weeks off because it was just too cold. It was in the minus 20, even though we're in the shop and it's heated, it just takes a long time to get to a nice temperature so we could use the silicones and the glues. So if you include traveling time, it's just, you know, it makes the day not worth it. But today's a little bit better. So uh, we're gonna go up, try to finish those floors. Yeah. After two weeks, it's the first time we see the vinyl. When we left, it was a little, it was a little bubbly. But I guess uh, 14 days of drying in the cold, it did the trick, because I don't see that many bubbles. So we bought this trim for the finishing. It was 12 feet long when we purchased, so we cut it in the parking lot because it wouldn't fit in the car. 
Now I measured, so I believe this one will be for the back. We also purchased these uh, this grip for stairs, some sort of uh, art flexible plastic. And we're going to use this to cover the finishings there. So the last time we were here, we were a little discouraged because there were so many bubbles in the floor and we didn't know if they would go away. And we're just so pleased that they have gone away. We bought the edging for the stairs, which looks really nice. And then we bought the rubber to go underneath it. But now it's not a continuous roll. So I'm a little bit disappointed with myself that I didn't look for the garage weather stripping while I was at the hardware store. So Dorian's gone to the one that's nearby here, but they don't have a great selection. It's not a big hardware store, so hopefully he'll find something. Otherwise, we're just gonna delay it again by another day. <laughs> it looks really nice. I've put it into place and it's adhering and everything like that, but my main problem with it is that there are seams so that water can still penetrate. So the more seams you have, the more potential for water infiltration. And that's also true of where the cab meets the floor. I want something to kind to go underneath in case we spill a drink or whatever and I know that it's impossible to make this place waterproof but if there are certain little things that we could do to help then why not take the extra effort and do it now because we won't be able to do it later we won't be able to redo this so before screwing down the stair edging, we're going to see if we can find that product and while Dorian's doing that I'm starting to tape down um, to see where everything's gonna go so we have an idea of where, where everything's gonna go so this is the diagram that we made a long time ago and we toured Gaetan's camper van and we're basing it off of his because we really really like that layout so although he had his shower on this side we're gonna do the opposite we're gonna have our composting toilet here our shower here and this whole section that's gonna be the rear area for the bathroom. I wanna have a small bulkhead here, small bulkhead here, but nothing that's gonna block the view from the rear. Then we're gonna have a single bed here, single bed there, that could be made into a large bed by just putting down some removable, removable slats. And then I want sink over here and uh, fridge and stove over here, and then of course cabinets all on top. So I wanna tape this all out on the floor just to see what we're dealing with to have a better idea. And uh, so then we could start strategizing and planning for the furniture build. the garage door weather stripping and it's a lot more flexible I think this is definitely gonna do the job better than what we had before so that's good and we've taped everything up here so that's gonna be my bed there the smaller one the taller one is gonna be Dory's bed and then we can extend it. So this is the hallway and this is much better now. I was thinking about putting the fridge here but I know that those click on and off and my head is gonna be over here. So the fridge instead will go over here. And then we need to leave some space over here so we could turn this swivel seat around and we wanna kind of make some type of a table so that we can work and eat from there. And then we'll have to rig up some kind of table for this seat. And then here, this is gonna be the sink and we're gonna have a propane cooktop. It's gonna be kind of like a combi deal. It's gonna be very basic. And then over here on this side, we're gonna have our hot water heater, our, hot, our water tank. And then there's gonna be the shower, composting toilet. So yeah, so we have it mapped out. We had told these guys at Riff Free Gas that installed all this that it's probably gonna be 18 inches, but they have it, unfortunately, right at 18 inches. 
And as you could see, that is like 20 inches. So that would mean I'd have to make, we'd have to make a bench of like 21 inches, which is just way too tall. So we're gonna have to tell them either to lower all of this, or they're gonna have to put some of these things, like I would imagine they would put the inverter on the ground somehow. So that would enable us to have a, a bench that's around 18 to 19 inches tall, which is pretty standard. So yes, that's what we have so far. And I'm looking forward to now trying this weather stripping. All right, guys, we finally finished with these floors. It only took us 43 hours and a half. It's still good because, again, zero experience and we're learning as we go. And we went to YouTube school. Things to point out is don't put a lot of glue on the floor. The more glue you put, the more bubbles you're going to get. And when you roll it, it takes longer you'll see more bubbles. And then when you squeeze through the sides, you're gonna see a lot of glue exiting on the sides and it's a mess to clean. So we don't need to put that much glue and that's a mistake that we did. On that section, we didn't put as much. We put a little bit less and we actually find that section came out a little bit nicer. So as a tip, a general rule, I guess, if I had to redo this all over, I would have started this side just because there's a lot more furniture. So, you know, if you do mistakes, it's going to get covered by the furniture. We started over here. So there's more exposed areas and that's where the mistakes occurred because we started on this side. However, that being said, the bubbles went away, but we still find that this side over here is a little bit nicer. Another thing that we did is that we put a white silicone all around on top of the vinyl where it meets the van. And this is just to protect for any water spillage. So we're gonna have the sink over here, we're gonna have the shower over here, we're also gonna have water tanks over here, also the hot water tank is gonna be on this side as well. We want to make sure if something happens, water won't seep inside. Another thing that we did was we added this garage door seal underneath the finishings, the trim finishings. And this is, again, for more protection, just in case, especially here, the shower is going to be here. And I'm assuming we're going to have these doors open. We're going to shower outside as well. So even if it's raining or whatever, if water comes in here, it should be stopped and it won't go inside. We also put some garage seal, rubber seal over here on this side as well. Again, because we're gonna have the sink, this door is gonna be open, we don't want water to go in there. And also on the cab. And the funny thing is we saw a lot of videos online and nobody talks about this area. And I understand because it's not visible to anybody, right? Nobody sees it, but everything was exposed and it kind of slants down. And my concern was, hey, you know, if I'm having a coffee or a drink or whatever and I spill it, it's going to come down. So yeah, there you go guys, floors are done. I'm happy, we're happy. We're gonna be moving into another project. So that means more learning. All right guys, so it's gonna be it for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, drop them down below. I also wanna remind everybody the vlog continues on Instagram and on Patreon. Catch you on the next one.